Hello, hello, hello. My name is Joy for the people that don't know, and today we are going to be doing a pick a card reading you versus them. Like, share, subscribe. Remember, sharing is caring. Personal readings are all available on my website. Link in the description box. I ask my spirits to give me the messages that my audience needs to hear. A huge thanks in advance to my beautiful spirits. Let's get started. Yeah, get into it. How one? Let's go ahead and get started with you towards them. Honestly, I feel like you love this person. <laughs> honest with you i kind of feel like they were hiding though from you or like trying to run away um they gave you some type of trouble here this person could have told you that you guys could be forever together you know filled yourself filled your head up with with a bunch of stuff you thought that things were gonna go really good with this person you towards this person my viewers towards this person please my viewers towards this person that chose pile number one yeah there was probably a third party energy here okay that really hurt you you felt like this person wasn't working things out with you um you were really in your head you were probably you know asking your pendulum about this person you were asking tarot readers about this person um you know they probably told you that there was definitely a third party i definitely see a third party energy here i feel like they have cheated or something around those lines just definitely didn't work things out with you or you just feel like um you were just one of the people that things didn't work out with with them you know maybe they have a history of their relationships not being really good okay you towards this person you, it, they honestly i kind of feel like this person kind of like made you be in a really like tough spot like pressed they made you really sad Cause I'm pretty when I cry. You had to go within, you got to look within and all of that stuff. Like you, you're, you're trying to do your healing work. Like, you know, you're not really going out much. You're stuck on this person is really what I'm seeing here. And you have to move on. You feel like you have to move on from this person. Even though you love this person a lot, you have to move on from this person. And, you know, um, you just can't keep yourself stuck because if you keep yourself stuck, then you're preventing your happiness from coming forward, okay? So... Um, you might not be happy with this person. You might have said some hurtful things to this person or, you know, you might have definitely like cussed them out or spoke your mind. And honestly, you just want to, you just, you just want to move on. Okay. And I, I really do feel like you are tired of this person and you just really try to move on from this person, honestly. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're done. Like you've tried so many fucking times with this person over and over and over again. And it's just the same fucking results every, every single fucking time. So you're just like, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for the times that we shared. Not really because you fucking traumatized my ass, but, <laughs> but like, you know, it is what it is. Thanks for letting me learn. All right. Them towards you. Call number one's person towards them. Ace of Inspiration. It was really sexual, them towards you. I'm going to be honest with you. It was very sexual. Yeah, it, they were moving really, really slow with things with you. I feel like they did have some type of romantic feelings for you. Am I going to say it's love? I'm not going to say it's love, okay? Because, you know, love means a lot. I don't, I don't want to say that this is love, but I feel like this person definitely did have some romantic feelings for you. They definitely had some passionate feelings for you, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, them towards you. Um, I got, yeah, uh, they, they did, they did hold you on their mind a lot. I will say that. Um, you definitely are really beautiful and you know they they even might have gotten inspired by you i feel like you are a very inspirational person you might have inspired this person for new ideas new new projects and things like that again i do see a lot of romance here and i honestly feel like they will they will think of you for a really long time a really long time um them towards you they they have you i kind of feel like they have you on their mind but i'm gonna be honest you got the justice card so i kind of feel like they are also just like how you had the hermit card i'm kind of seeing like they're kind of shedding old skin as well okay 
Um, they're trying to get unstuck from you though. I am seeing that too. Um, I, I feel like this person just wants their peace or they just feel like they have to, you know, outgrow whatever happened between you guys and, and they've learned from it and, you know, they're they're growing and, and they're changing. They are changing, you know what I'm saying? Because the Justice card came out. So I feel like Spirit came in and kind of like, you really changed this person, believe it or not. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like you changed this person. This person could have been in a, in a stuck situation and then you kind of came in and you kind of brightened their life and you made them change. You, you did make them change. Like, I know people, I know people, you can never change a person. I'm, I'm hip. But you inspired them to change themselves. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that this person is looking for anything type of relationship right now. Um, it's just not what they're really into or n not what they have planned for your relationship and stuff like that. But if you guys want to look more specific into your relationship, you guys can book with me on my website that it will be in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how it was. I will see you guys another time. Bye. Hello, pile two. What's good? Um, let's go ahead and get your reading okay so pile two let me just tell you a little something uh this motherfucker sneaky okay i'm gonna let you know now i'm gonna let you know now somebody was being sneaky either you was being sneaky or they was being sneaky but they was hiding something from you another person another person okay i'm gonna call the ass out i'm gonna call you out okay that was another person is what I'm getting heavy of. Aries. All right. All right. You towards them. You towards them. But you saw that. You saw that they had another person. I feel like you saw that they had another person. You peeped it. You're not dumb. Like, it, you, your spirits told you. Like, you know what's up. You know what I'm saying? You with the shits. <laughs> you got that intuition. <laughs> All right. Pile number two towards this person. I kind of feel like you're giving them the side eye for real. If we're gonna be honest, you towards this person. Yeah, there was an argument. Argument. There was an argument here. Two of Chris, you don't want to meet up with this person. You don't want nothing to do with this motherfucker. Like, fuck this motherfucker for real. If you want to say fuck this motherfucker for real, then why you want to read him for this motherfucker though? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of that type of shit going on. Like. You will make a point, then they will make a point. Like, this is like a bickering, bickering couple. I see a bicker, bickering couple. That's literally what I see. You, you towards them. You towards them. Yeah, there was, you know, there was... You was probably talking to two people, too, though. Like, that's kind of what I'm seeing. Like, I kind of feel like you, you know, like, you didn't... You don't mind. Like, you, you did want to start something with this person. You did. Like, I feel like you, you did have emotions for this person at the beginning. It was really good. And, like, you were really excited and, you know, um, really with it. But, honestly, like, either you just fell for things that, you know, other, other women, other men, um, or it was hard for you to choose. It was hard for you to choose someone uh and like because there's a lot of people and, and if you felt like this person had other people then you're just like okay well then if they have other people then might as well you know what i'm saying leave the door open for other people that want to come in you know what i'm saying it is what it is this could have been a, one of one of the people that you had a lot of you know you might have had a lot of people this is toxic <laughs> y'all is fucking toxic <laughs> them towards you um them towards you i mean you towards them i i kind of feel like i feel like it goes both ways honestly honestly however you're feeling towards them i kind of feel like you guys are I, i'm not gonna put that twin shit out there but you guys definitely mirrored each other i'm gonna say mirror that shit <laughs> but um you know whatever <laughs> them towards you them towards you them towards you have a stories in reverse the world um they felt like damn like you said some hurtful ass shit to them okay and they felt that and they didn't like that shit and that's what kind of like made things end between you guys is what i'm seeing like they didn't like that about you 
something something happened something happened on social media something happened with friends they don't like you and your friends like you know what i'm saying i'm getting that heavy like oh well you, you might be like fuck them and then they might be like well fuck you and your friends and then you're like well fuck you and your mama <laughs> like there's a lot of like arguing here but honestly i kind of feel like at the beginning or you know um they they're more like they don't speak much i kind of feel like they kind of like you know they don't if, if they get angry or whatever like they don't even speak like they're just like they, they're just they just dead shit you know what i'm saying i feel like you you cussed them out or you you said some shit or, or whatever um but you know this person could have triggered you i i am seeing that too but i feel like there was a good friendship here i feel like maybe you guys can be friends maybe like they're not they're not as bitter as you are <laughs> they're not as bitter as you are i'm telling you they're not as bitter bitter as you are if anything they might make communication or contact towards you they might come towards you okay they might if they ghosted you then they're probably gonna pop back up like i'm seeing that heavy all right um but yeah them towards you they don't really have much to say towards you um their attitude is very nice like whatever like they, they're like you can be my friend but it's like can you really be their friend though <laughs> anyways if you guys want a more personal reading that information will be in the description box below you can book with me over there on my website and i will see you another time bye pile number three hmm. okay this pile's a little intense I'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest this is a little intense here you towards them i got cancer energy here you towards them you saying quiet you're not speaking to this person you stop speaking to this person something happened something happened you towards this person I just saw Santissima Muerte. I saw Muerte. That means death. That means an ending. All right. Yeah, you don't want to work on nothing with this person. You're like, mm-mm. That's, that's going to make my life go left. I'm not about that. Um, You are balancing yourself out. Canceling people that don't deserve to be in your life. Keeping the ones that do. Um, You're, you're done with, with a bunch of shit. And you're just not trying to work on things with this person, honestly. Like, you're just like, you're, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're just like, hmm. I kind of feel like you're on this reading just because, like, hmm. Wonder, wonder. Well, I wonder what they're up to. Or, like, just, you know, Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Like, you towards them, honestly. Like, you're trying to balance yourself out when it comes to this person. Because this motherfucker has you in your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this person's really sneaky on top of that. You think that this person's sneaky? And you had ho, ho, ho. Uh -uh. This person's a liar. You think that this person, you know, t they're going to drive you insane. And, and you want your peace. And you're very protected. Also, um, if something happened with communication or anything like that, I feel like it was your guides, your angels, your protectors, your spirits um who have protected you from this specific person i kind of feel like this person you might have felt like this person could have really brought you down they could have made you go crazy um you know what i'm saying things like that so you towards them you towards them yeah no you you think things were unfair with this person you're just done with that shit karma will come back around and it's gonna bite them in the fucking ass if it, if it needs to on. honestly you got so much shit that you gotta do you got so much stuff that you, <laughs> your life is just starting like you know what i'm saying like you're just starting something new you're moving you're, you're doing your thing you're moving forward you're moving on period you towards them you're fucking moving on that's what's going on okay them towards you see them towards you them towards you Queen of Swords in reverse. They talk shit about you. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 100 honest with you. They talk shit about you. Like and they were roommates. Oh my God, they were roommates. You just they talk, about you. they talk shit about you behind your back. Very short. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Them towards you. They don't got nothing nice to say. That's all I gotta say. 
we got the fool card and the ace of swords so them towards you watch the, but they're, they're talking mad shit about you behind your back right but uh they still gonna reach out though <laughs> like what kind of shit is that like this person towards you they might want to be your friend quote-unquote friend this motherfucker is not your friend how can you be somebody's friend if you're talking shit behind their back it don't make no sense it don't add up it don't add up they're gonna communicate with you though they're gonna talk to you they're gonna talk to you they're gonna you're gonna find a, a a ding a message or some shit like that or something's gonna happen and and you might see it i kind of feel like you're gonna see it but they're gonna they're gonna reach out to you i feel like they're gonna reach out to you especially this coming year um uh this year or this coming year because this reading is timeless but yeah that's what i'm getting and they're gonna want to start over um, they see you as someone who, you know what I'm saying, is like maybe a friend or, or whatever it is. But be careful with this person because them towards you, honestly, they could be talking shit behind your back. Every day is some bullshit. Every fucking day. Even when I'm not doing shit, niggas want to make some shit up about me. Y'all niggas is sick in the fucking head. Be careful head. with that, okay? So, yeah. <sighs> yeah this this person this person has a lot of uh of baggage okay this person has a lot of baggage them towards you um i kind of feel like honestly like they they don't even know like they don't even know what the fuck they feel honestly like i'm gonna be honest like they don't even know what the fuck they feel they're very foolish people they're really like oh whatever uh, no stuck up and like you know fuck that person it is what it is um they're fucking up their bag though like them doing this like they're fucking up their bag like look they're really fucking up their bag so if, whoever this person is i kind of feel like their their money's not um in a good in a good place hide the money y'all there's poor people around <laughs> with your broke ass um but yeah, because their emotions are not balanced. Like, they need to balance their emotions. I feel like they're trying to balance their emotions towards you, but I kind of feel like it's not really working. They're kind of like, you know, they're trying to. Also, it gives me justice vibes. So, I do kind of feel like, you know, they kind of have to bear with the weight that they, you know, you reap what you sow type shit. I feel like they are hurt, okay? I feel like these people are really, really hurt and hurt people hurt people. You know what I'm saying? So be careful with that i feel like this person was hurt they tried to hurt you and you were just kind of like yeah no you're not gonna you're not gonna do that to me you ready to fucking die no yeah i'm a bad bitch you can't kill me and then you, you know then they got mad that they couldn't either be in your energy or whatever it is all right anyway that's what i got i hope you enjoyed it let me know how it was in the comments down below i will see you guys in another time if you want a more personal reading to get more specific on your um be careful with this person be careful with this person be very very fucking careful with this person i don't know who the fuck this person is but they could like i swear on everything i thought i just saw something like be careful with this person like i keep i, I can't stress that enough like i don't know who this person is like if 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 you're into craft or they're into craft or something like that, be careful with this person, okay? Because I kind of feel like they have spirits or they have certain demons that might be attached to them and then they can attach to you or or there's something going on with this motherfucker. Like, there's something that they might have. So be careful, all right? Just, just going to put that out there. Just, just going to put that out there. Also... You could be very protected if you know that you are the one that is into craft and things like that. I kind of feel like your guide is there. I also feel like a little side note. I, I also feel like um, they watch you. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Personal readings. Link in the description box. And I will see you guys another time. Bye. Hey, pile number four. So, pile number four, you guys most likely need to cleanse. I feel like this person can be a bit negative. I feel like their energy is really, like, strong. Or they're just, you know, yeah. If you are from the last pile, this applies to you as well. All right? So, just cleanse your energy. Cleanse your space for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading. 
All right, pile number four. All right, pile number four. Mm, you towards them. You towards them. Let's see. I kind of feel like you got history with this person. There's history here. You towards them. You towards them. Okay, Emperor. Hmm. You, you might, this person might surprise you. Like, this person might surprise you. Okay, you towards them. You might think that they got it together. You know what I'm saying? you know we got it together you might feel like this person's not that enlightened do you want a relationship with this person or are you already in a relationship with this person um you might be in a relationship with this person already or you want a relationship with this person is what i'm getting as well okay um pile number four you see things i feel like i feel like this pile is my people who are really like into you know what i'm saying uh psychic abilities tarot cards divination work you, you might actually do practice and and do craft um you can work with certain spirits like you know you know you're you know about your stuff and i kind of feel like you towards them i kind of feel like you have nothing bad to say about them you have everything good to say about them if anything like there's a lot of like good stuff here if, and you might even want to maybe See, you know, if, if a relationship might come about in this situation. I feel like, you know, getting to know this person, yeah. You might feel like this person might not be the most enlightened like you are. Like, you, you might feel like this person might not be, you know, at your level, okay, of of knowing things. But they, they, still, they still hold up really good. Like, they still, you know, you towards them. You feel like something can grow with them. Like, you, you feel like, oh, shit, like you know maybe things can actually go somewhere with this person like i kind of feel like i can maybe start something with this person and maybe get into a relationship maybe get married the, the relationship's going really well you know um or and maybe we can move to the next step or you know what i'm saying or we're talking and maybe we can move to the next step or whatever the next step is for you and your relationship you kind of maybe don't mind going towards that step i kind of feel like you've been you know there's a lot of hit and miss, okay? They've, a lot of people have either been been able to hit, but it's always been a miss. <laughs> or, you, or you've always, like, hit and the girls weren't it and it's been a miss. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but I kind of feel like with this one, you feel like this little spark or whatever. And you're just like, you know, shit. Like, you know, you got the star here. Like, you might feel like this person can has a lot of potential. Like okay okay like you're just like okay look at you like damn <laughs> all right them towards you let's see let's see them towards you them towards you this person towards you Ooh, well, they're hiding something from you i'm gonna let you know now it could be their feelings let's see what they're hiding you got cancer you got pisces Ooh, they're hiding. Yeah, they, 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 they might want to like, um, you know, see what's good with it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like, on some, on some, you know, like they might, they might, they might want to see. They might be on a little bit more on like the sexual level. Like you might feel, they might feel like you are very seductive, or like you, you know. It. I'm kind of getting like this person either like wants to fuck. <laughs> all right they either want to fuck or like i'm kind of getting that this person could be hiding the fact that they could be fucking around all right yeah i know i know you're like damn that's a it was good at first and then it went downhill <laughs> no nah, but them towards you like they, they might also think the same though they might also think the same they might also feel like you out here being kind of sneaky you out here maybe you know playing the field maybe talking to two people you know they kind of they kind of honestly they kind of feel like yeah like you you might you might be on yeah you might have them in a third party that's kind of what i'm getting they might feel like you either married or you're already in a relationship they may feel like um you know take take what applies you know like they they may feel like you're already in a relationship they may feel like um 
okay so if you are not in a relationship with this person and stuff like that you don't live with this person then i'm kind of getting that this person like you know what i'm saying like they might have a third party and um they might be hiding this from you and they might be living with the third party or i'm just getting like they just really want to fuck you okay um now if you have been talking to this person and like you've been you know i'm also seeing like you know they they might feel like you have somebody like you have you, you're living with somebody <laughs> like you know what i'm saying they might feel like you're hiding certain shit from them and you might be playing the field and and things like that you know what i'm saying so yeah that's what i'm seeing them towards you um the emperor in reverse and the full card in reverse i i kind of feel like them towards you they they're not the person that you want them to be okay you see them as the emperor of bright but they're the emperor in reverse they see themselves as the emperor in reverse they they are the emperor in reverse so them towards you i don't think that they're gonna apply whatever you thought that they were gonna apply so if they if they said that they want to you know live with you and, and have babies and, and shit like that maybe they might feel like they aren't the man of the house like they they might feel like they can't uh, uh you know um provide for you and shit like that so um that's what might be you know preventing them from actually taking that next step because they don't feel like they can they can do things okay is also what i'm seeing or they just can't because there's another third party or because they're hiding something from you yeah but heavy on the sexual though they, they definitely find you sexually attractive <laughs> all right so that's that's pound number four sorry um if you guys want more personal reading though because i did pick up on multiple energies you guys can get a personal reading with me on my website the link is in the description box below on my website i already said my website um but yeah and i will see you guys another time like share subscribe all that good stuff bye you towards them let's see pound number five all right Pile number five towards their person. Pile number five towards their person. Pile number five towards their person. Knight of Queens. Pile number five towards their person. You might not really want to move things forward with this person. This might, this person might be from the past. You might want to be a friend to this person. You might want to have a friendship with this person. But you just, you might be sexually attracted to this person. You know what I'm saying? But just on the friendship level. Like, you're not really trying to, like, you know, build anything with this person. Like, you're not trying to, you know, be in a full-blown marriage and relationship or anything like that. Honestly, I kind of feel like you're trying to focus on your money. But that doesn't mean that you're not sexually attracted to them or... You know, might want to have them as a friend and, 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 you know, you know, but you just don't want to move. And, and, and anything serious, you might not want to move forward with this person. Not not on anything serious. Um, you don't have much hope for, for, for things to go well if, if it was to move in any, in any type of way. Um, I got Aquarius Energy too, towards Virgo Capricorn, heavy Capricorn. All right. Um, you towards them. Honestly, you're really straight to the point. Like... <laughs> honestly um you got a chariot um it was gonna come up right you wanted to move forward with them but then you kind of stopped yourself and now you're kind of in this space in this mindset where you're just like should i move forward with this person or not should i make contact with this person or not should i you know go towards this person or not or should i just not do that like you're, you're kind of you know um fighting yourself in a way too i got cancer energy here leo with the strength um yeah like there's something that you might you might have to like hold back what you gotta say to this person like you might really want to like speak to this person and and talk to this person but you can't you feel like you can't talk to this person for some reason um yeah you towards them yeah there's there's <laughs> there's a heavy no no speaking like you're either not talking to this person or this person's not talking to you like it goes both ways maybe like maybe you both don't talk to each other sometimes maybe you do talk like it's just kind of weird like um but yeah like there's something about you might be sweating this person like you might be actually like really like you might really like this person like you actually do have some emotions for this person especially like on the friendship level but there's just like no no communication like there's no communication 
yeah um you might also have a lot of options but you don't really want anything romantic right now is what i'm getting i just aries Leo, sagittarius you just don't want anything romantic right now okay like you're just like mm. you're focused on money right now <laughs> you're focused on the big bag we get in money all right them towards you them towards you They think you fine. Like, I ain't even gonna hold you. Like, <laughs> you look good as fit. <laughs> like, you look really good. Them towards you. Them towards you. Pile number five. Them towards you. They like you. They're not gonna communicate that with you, though. They're not gonna probably tell you that shit. I don't think they're gonna communicate with you. I don't think this is the type of person that... I think you might have to communicate with them. Um, but yeah, I don't think this person's gonna communicate with you. Um, but they like you. That's the weird thing they like you they like you yeah okay the we <laughs> the it's same shit with them like they they don't know where this is gonna go like they have no idea how this is gonna go where this is gonna go honestly they it's kind of like at a standstill like they don't know where this is going if it's going good or if it's going bad like they just don't really know when it comes to you um they don't know how to take things with you okay um they're just kind of like should i do it this way should i do it that way like should I go this way? Should I go that way? They might go both ways. Okay, I'm also seeing that too. Um, them towards you. Yeah, like there's like lack of communication. There's like holding back communication. It's like you both want to speak to each other in a way, but you you don't. Like, the, you know, if you, if you, if you told them that you don't ever want to see them or you're not speaking to them or something like that, like, there's just, there's just a defensive thing with them. Yeah, you guys fell off. You guys fell off. Like, yeah. I feel like this person towards you, you guys fell off. Now they're defensive. Okay. For some of you guys, because again, you didn't want a relationship. Maybe they, they, I don't know what happened between y'all, but you guys fell off now they're like hesitant about communicating i kind of feel like they, they don't know whether to communicate with you or not okay i don't see them communicating first though i'm gonna be honest with you um them towards you them towards you again yeah now with wands again and it's like this like whenever the card comes out like that it's like indecisive energy of of am i gonna make the movement am i not gonna make the movement that's how they're they're feeling right now like you know, is there going to be any type of movement? They haven't decided yet, because of, especially because of this tower in reverse. Them towards you. Yeah, they're just honestly them towards you. They just they just kind of feel like you know shit happened. You know things were said, and they don't. They might not want to. The thing is, like, the, the funny thing is, like, they don't want to ever see you. They don't want to, um, all this stuff about this song. But if you, if you actually know the title of the song is actually Miss You. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of feel like they do miss you. They do miss you. But it's like, you know, you guys fell off and, and they're, they're, like, they don't fucking know. <laughs> they're just like, man, like... But I kind of I feel like at the end though I feel like that at the end they're gonna put the, the effort and they're gonna they're gonna speak and, and things like that. But I don't think things are gonna go good. I honestly don't think that the things are things are gonna go good with this person. I'll be honest. All right. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Palm number five. I will see you guys another time. If you want a personal reading with me, you guys can book with me on my website. If you put this motherfucker away, please don't go back in the trash and pick it up, okay? So, if you if you get rid of a person, if you're done with somebody, actually be done with that person, please, okay? Don't don't lie to yourself like that. <laughs> and don't ever try to fucking lie to me because I will fucking know. <laughs> Anywho, um, that's all for now. Bye-bye.